Hi everybody, welcome back to Swarm. My name is Mikey Dubs, and we are trying to beat the hard difficulty on the outskirts map. Last video, I tried out Jinx. My first time trying this map out, and we got better as we went. But now I'm going back to the character that got me through the warehouse district, and that's Alawi. So let's see how we can do here. Alawi's a a zone controller with how many tentacles you spawn. You spawn them with pretty much everything you do. Your tentacles slam. Your tentacle smash and your leap of faith all spawn tentacles and the more tentacles that are around the more damage you do because they smack things for 112 damage right now in an area of effect by the way um let's go for max health here but they also uh heal you the more tentacles that are around the more healing you receive so you kind of want to get your tentacles down and stay in the same zone now they stay for a certain duration and the longer uh you have duration or the, if you upgrade duration, then they stay out even longer. So d duration really does matter. Um, I do not believe they can crit. So crit chance, as much as it is nice on other characters, I believe allow it. It's not necessarily the best on, but we will we'll be watching these tentacles to see if we do see any crits. Let's get tentacles slam leveled up as quickly as possible. I'm seeing only... I am seeing 224s, but not on... Hmm... Maybe they can crit. I'm not too sure. Pickup radius is a no thank you. Let's do duration. It's going to buff up our tentacle slam. We use one of our rerolls there. Oh, that definitely can crit. Okay, interesting. We can start moving, our, making our way down to this Yumi quest. I like to spawn up some tentacles while I go down. Let's get armor. Bash this guy. Don't let him hit me. There we go. I'm going to try to f make myself a new home down here. While I do this Yumi quest. It's going to be in the corner, which is tough. What is, which one is it? Which one? Are, okay, we have to... It's Beach Ball, which is the hardest one. Because you can just die while trying to do this. Oh, yeah. You can definitely die while trying to do this. Get the ball. Run away. Get the ball. Run away. Ooh, get the ball. Run away. I can't get that one. That's a Yumi quest fail. Yep, and that is, I mean, it is what it is. That's thats how it can go sometimes. Let's go for the Radiant Field. I'm thinking that Radiant Field could be the way. Let me stack up max HP and just do damage around us in a circle. Oh, boss. Say goodbye. Boom. That's one thing I learned when I did the Warehouse District on Allow is that she just melts bosses. Pick up this card. I know that if I leave it on the ground, it gets me automatic um, evolves if I'm at level 5 of any of my weapons, but I would kind of like the extra stats now. A lot of bosses spawn. I'll be getting plenty of cards. And also, if I get the Yumi power up, where I get 5% damage on... On... Every card picked up is another good reason to hold on and not take it, but... I need to start getting my, my field up, up top. Start getting some tentacles up there. I'm guessing the boss fight's gonna be around here. Look at this, this Colosseum looking thing. More like, a, more like a containment unit, honestly. Ooh, power up, power up. Let's grab this. Right, which one do we get? Oh, we got the Firebrand one. Let's go. Pick up this. Armor, let's go. We want to be using it as well. Radiant Field. Level 3. If I want to grab this thing is you those those uh miss those misfortunes you know the those power-ups they go away so you can't just like not take them you only have a certain amount of time to pick them up and activate them so you might as well even if it's not as hectic in this current moment you know let's do gatlin bunny guns i do not believe having more t projectiles will spawn in more tentacles for me this scales with duration as well, so I'm doubling up on stats, making it easier for me. Go ahead, get smacked. A Belveth Trial has spawned, and this is the one character where I actually feel kind of comfortable going for it. Let's get this fuel cell, though. Go on to slam. Welcome to the jam. Yeah, I'm playing the one character where I actually feel somewhat comfortable doing the Belveth challenge. So can, if it's survival in the circle, I can just alt. Yeah. I can just alt. It took a lot of damage there for no reason, basically, but... 
Keep dealing damage. Keep dealing damage. Try not to die. Try not to die. 17 more seconds in here. It's the ranged balls. It's those the ones that are tricky. We're going to run it right back. I got to get rid of those range guys. That run had potential, but I think, honestly, I would have liked to get some, maybe some health regeneration before that point. And failing the Yumi quest is always just an absolute low roll. Don't want to be failing Yumi quests at all. I'm just going to turn on auto aim and focus on not taking any damage. How about that? Don't take any damage. Good slap. It's just the difference between getting vacuum and not getting vacuum, I feel like, is so huge. Let's take Tentacle Slam, Rank Tail. Get it ranked up as quickly as possible. As far as my out of game upgrades, the ones that you get between rounds, I have most of everything. The ones I don't have is the top row. I can show you guys after the game. I don't have like the base stats, like the attack damage and the armor and that stuff. I've gone for more of the other upgrades. Let's do Ice Blast armor. It scales with... Or it's, it's recipe for evolution is armor. So I could go a high armor build, which could be nice. And if you get if you if you get close to me, you die. And if you do manage to survive for a little bit, I just have so much armor that I just tank you. Hopefully, is the idea. Give me that gold. I'm saving up for the last gold upgrade in my in my upgrades my in between match upgrades. Let's go max health. Got to start making our way down the Yumi quest. Not taking the Yumi quest is, is the same as failing it. So let's get down there. No beach ball this time, please. Uh, taking a health pack when I don't need it at all. Control. Slam this slam this range guy. Range guys are the death of me. There we go. Range guy down. Slam the range. Slam the ranged. I should be getting my ultimate soon. Slam the range guy. There we go. Push the mall to make it grow. Got it. Easy. I want to get out of this corner, so let's go ahead and travel back to the center of the map. Slap him. Slap him again. Uh, let's go damage. Slap him again. There we go. Gotcha. 41 seconds still. We make our way back to the middle of the map. The ball is, the ball is doing just fine. And we get vacuum. Absolutely love to see it. We get the level up, which means we also get access to our ultimate ability, which we will be using ASAP. No reason to take it, um, pick up radius because all the XP comes back to us anyway. Go ahead and slap him. Max health rank three is quite nice. Speaking of health, let's pick up some and go get the fuel cell. I still have my ult, so my basic attack is hitting quite fast. Okay, my ult just timed out. Ooh, get slammed. Okay, we got our fuel cell for when we need it. Slappage. Slappage. Oh, that was nice. Can we have vacuum? We don't have to worry about the XP. Health regeneration and armor are the two stats I want now. Oh, don't let this guy get me. Slap. I think I will take Static Sword. It's Evolve Recipe is max HP, which is what I have. Oh, run, 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 run. Don't let this happen. Duration can... Yeah, I think Duration is worth... Well, I don't want any of these stats, though. I would like... You know what? Let's go... Let's actually go Ability Haste. Because we don't need Health Regeneration if... If we have tentacles nearby. I'm still looking to get armor for Ice Blast armor, but I could go either way now. Again, enough boss enemies spawn that we can take this. It'll be worth it for the short term. Alright, if the Belvet uh, challenge spawns next to me, I'll, go, I'll get it. Let's go Tentacle Slam rank 3. I can upgrade it because I took the duration passive stat. Alright, we want to set up our slam on both these guys. 
chasing down these ranged dudes is of the utmost import, I believe. There we go. Any more ranged dudes? Yeah, we got one right. We got two right here. Two troublemakers. Two troublemakers. There we go. Ability haste is just so nice for stacking up more tentacles. So each time I slam, I get more. I need to line up a slam on all three of those guys. Thank you. Get a good slam off on all those range guys. Bubba trial spawns in the bottom left corner of the map. All right, let's just set up a double range slam. There we go. Stay by the cannon, I think. In this case. Sorry, Belveth challenge, but I just you're too far away. I gotta I gotta stay close to where I got tentacles spawned. You know what I'm saying? It's like you could have spawned more tentacles with your all. I could. I could. You're not wrong. Stay closer to the cannons. Wait for the vacuum to pop. I think Kog'Maz are going to be a little bit tricky to kill with my ultimate. I'm going to have to get up real close. Which is why... Okay, we take armor here for sure. Which is why I'm actually going to just get the cannons prepped and ready. I'm going to get right up on these Kog'Maz. I'm going to press R in a safe spot, and I'm going to knock them up. Okay. We're there. Those guys go down easily. Two cards... I think I am going to gobble them. If this is... Yeah, I think I'm going to gobble these cards for sure. In my book, that's worth. In my book, that is worth. I believe I got the only thing that does scale with defense. Yeah. The only the only other um, recipe is Leona's Slam. So, that goes with defense. Or armor, I should say. Destroy the range guys. Destroy the range guys. Focus on destroying the range guys. Let's go damage 10 to 20 percent Slap the range lads Okay Question is can I complete this challenge without Doing the Belveth? I don't know Let's get some XP and find out. Give me radiant There we go. Now the one that I don't want to upgrade now is the vortex glove. Funnily enough. We'll Bev we have our ult. Let's Belveth challenge it. Not as many range guys around. Slam it. Alright, which one is it going to be? Which one's it going to be? Pinnacle Slam rank 4. Kill Seahorse. Got it. Alt. Slam. This is a specialty of mine. Slam. Very good. Uh, you get a lot of upgrade. You get a lot of XP here. Only one card, though. Keep grabbing upgrades. Okay, we want to go get that Yumi quest for sure. This is where I got to on Jinx, I think, when I died. About this point. I mean, I got I got through a bit of this zone right here, but I think I died shortly after. All right, slap them. And we are on the hard mode on the outskirts district. I'm trying to get to the Yumi quest. Save that card for when I get an upgrade on Tentacle Slam. Marathon. I have to reach the, the, the target. Okay, level 5 tar Tentacle Slam. Level 5. Okay, so my next two cards are going to be insanely good. Ooh, this is, a lot of, this is a lot of stuff coming in. Go ahead. Just keep slamming. Keep slamming. Level 4 armor. I think I'm going to need the extra armor here. Okay, here we go. Upgraded item. Boom. Evolve. Let's go. Okay, reach the destination in time. Reach the destination in time. There we go. Now we got big zaps. Very big zaps. Okay, 19 seconds. Go, go, go. Flap. We want these Yumi upgrades as much as possible. Oh, yeah. See you later, homie. Flap. Oh, it's right. It's behind me. Five. Four. Yes, we made it. I'm not gonna... I'm not going to be doing Metabolic Overdrive. I'm gonna do Hoarder. Whenever I pick up gold, I'm gonna heal, which is nice. A card. Do I have a rank 5 ability? I do. Let's go get our Tentacle Slam upgrade. Let's go. The Grizzly Smash. Tentacles last longer with a chance to summon giant tentacles. Let's go. 
Slappage. Slappage. Go get our fuel cell. We have one of these big lads now. We're going to gain gold and we're going to gain XP. Let's take ability haste. Now we just want to be slapping more. Boom. Put our fuel cell in the gun. Use our ultimate. Destroy all these mini bounces like they're not even there. There we go. We've got three cards near me. I don't have any rank four, rank five weapons, so I'm going to hold off. Maybe I will take one. Nope. We'll hold off just for a bit. At 15 minutes is when the boss spawns, so I got plenty of time. You know, let's take one more card. Rank five armor. It's not the worst thing in the world. We are very tanky now. Max HP, max armor. Which is crazy. Very, very tanky. Yeah, which is pretty nuts. Okay, keep slapping. This, this seems to be a little bit of an easier part here. Vacuum should go off soon. Not that I think I have that much XP waiting around for me. Well, these guys are all stuck over there. Here, I'll help you guys out. Get slapped. No reason to use my ultimate quite yet. Ooh, let's grab this power up. Boom. Oh, we got the firebrand one again. Let's go. Everything just gets scorched now. Very sick. Once the fuel cell spawns, I'm probably going to want to go grab that. We want to keep the firebrand on this guy if we can. Let's go level 4 ice blast armor here. And once we get level 5, we can pick up a card and get it evolved. Okay. Again, every minute we get our we get our vacuum. And that's going to give us health and XP. Slappage. Oh, bombs, bombs, bombs. Okay, be careful about those. Tentacles, help me out with these bombs, would you? Alright, let's see. Level... Let's go level 3 ability haste there. We don't really care about the vortex love getting a level. Realistically. Level 5 ice blast armor. That's going to push us into the break point where we now we get our deep freeze. Grants a shield and freezes enemies when the shield expires. Let's go. Let's go. One enemies. What you got? Doesn't look like you got very much, honestly. Go on and slam. Welcome to the jam, baby. Okay, I'm, I see a fuel cell. I think I'm going to go grab it. I have a long way to go for my next weapon evolve. I think we can make it, though. Is this guy be the radiant, the radiant field? I just got this fuel cell. I got a couple of giant tentacles here to help me out, which is nice. But we want to be fighting next to the cannon. Okay, let's go actually, let's go to the Belveth trial. We have, a, a, I think, a good strong build to get it done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse me, coming through. Ooh, Kog'Maw's. Okay, let's let's stack them all up. Let's stack up this with the Belveth trial, too. Okay, let's just do it all at once. Kill Seahorse? Sure, why not? Alt me. Slap me, survive me. Thank you for the extra armor. Appreciate you. Slap me. Oh, we killed Seahorse already. Oh, yes. Okay. Vortex glove level, whatever. Duration. Radiant field is good. We keep one card left on the ground. Oh, we still got one by the cannon. Radiant field. Let's go. Give me quest. Bottom left. Let's go. I'm not, I'm not gonna have my alt though, which is a little bit tricky. Go on a slam. Welcome to the jam, homie. And we're keeping one card down because we can only get one more weapon evolve, which is this radiant field. I don't have the health regeneration for the vortex love. So we're just trying to get as much XP as possible. Get this radiant. Oh, we don't actually get the one I want. We're trying to get this ra this radiant field up to level five, and then at which point we can grab the card. 
feel comfortable that we have enough. Uh, catch the red dot. You know what? Let's just alt. Where's this red dot at? There it is. Get it? Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, I got it. Glass cannon? I don't think so. Let's do the health pack pickup. It's the only thing that's gonna... It's the only thing I trust right now. Uh, let's head back up north. Head back up north, and that way we can get more tentacles to spawn while our alt's running. Look at look at the tentacles spawning in now. Holy cow. And just keep slapping up. I have, again, I have my, I have my fuel cell on top of my head. So, feel kind of pretty comfortable where we're at. And my enemies, they just keep getting frozen over and over again. Okay, here comes vacuum. Level 4 Radiant Field. Good. We just need one more level. Number 5 Radiant Field. Now we go for our card. Ladies and gentlemen. He goes for 5. Let's go. Oh, it's just so beautiful now. Let's go. The chaos. The carnage. Should we even ult? Do we even have to? You know what? I see bosses. I see waves of pulsing damage. Let's just ult. We'll have it up for Belveth. Holy hard mode just doesn't stand a chance. Doesn't even we can pick up all the cards now. There's no 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 reason not to. We've got four upgraded weapons. Four. Count them. Four. Boom. And the tentacles from the ether, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know where the bell vet or where the uh the boss fight is gonna spawn. I, I know the last one's Rexai. Again, I've done all the maps, but it was all, it all happened so fast in one quick session with a bunch of friends, and the game was honestly just on in the background while I was talking to my friends, so... You know, this is my first time really experiencing it all. Vacuum me up. Let's go damage. Let's go damage again. We almost have everything upgraded besides duration and the vortex love, which don't necessarily care about that much. And I'm still a little bit nervous about the boss fight. I don't have any health regen. Besides our, our tentacles giving us back HP. Sick. Our ult is now over. But again, allow us all about holding down a zone, which I like. I respect that. Okay, I don't think our vacuum is going to do the thing right now. All right, 15 minutes. Let's see what we happens. Briar has spawned. All right, let's go, Briar. A playable character in Swarm, no less. All right, I'm going to ult. I'm going to slap. I'm going to hope that she stops getting, like, such, like, amazing attacks off on me. There we go. She's going for something else that's not hitting me, which is good. She's she's tanking my ult up really well, to be honest with you. Okay, we got a little bit of nor of uh, sky sky uh, form and bullet hell. We just dodge these out and try not to let Belva hit too much. Oh, we we juke city population, you homie. Ow. Okay, not cool. My ult is officially timed out, but I have it up actually in 14 seconds, which is kind of crazy. Belva, could you please get off of me? You're not even doing that much damage though, honestly. Go back to the area she just screamed from. Ooh, I took a hit there. That's okay. I, I, I feel like this Belveth fight, maybe if I was on intense mode, I'd be dead by now, like 20 times over. But right now, it doesn't seem like she's doing that much damage. She's glued to me. Like, one thing she definitely is, I could definitely say she's glued to me. Come on. Ooh, now we have two angles from this guy. Two, two angles coming in. Yeah, this fight could get really intense, actually. You know what I'm thinking about it? Okay. Nice. And we defeat Belvet. That's exactly what I'm talking about. We move on. This map was really, really fun. I had a great time. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Actually, I want to show you guys my stats. I'll show you that real quick. Ooh, defeat Briar on hard roll on hard mode. I actually got one more reroll. But I wanted to show you guys my my stats here. The, these are the upgrades that I have purchased um after the game is or after the rounds have ended. I'm i I've got four, six, five, four to spend. I was gonna spend the last little bit on gold here, but I've all this maxed out, and it's these top stats that I don't have maxed out. So the damage, the armor, the the maximum health, the health regen, movement speed, of course. I I think I took almost first. 
as a Jinx player. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.